What's up, nerds? It's Mason, back with another comic book haul. I got something real nice in front of you. Um, it's my 27th birthday in a couple of days, Monday to be exact. And to celebrate, I treated myself to a couple of bigger purchases. And, oof, this is a good one. So happy to have it. It's the Batman Returns model from Hot Toys. And it is hot. Oof. I mean, there's there's other videos on YouTube that really, like, goes in depth on all the accessories and awesome features of this figure. I won't go into all that, but, you know, you can change his fists around. Um, it comes with accessories like uh, the Batarang, Bomb Detonator. Uh, you can even open the back of his head to move its eyeballs around. Um, comes with a pretty neat stand, lights up if you put some batteries in it. And even the box itself is impressive. Highly recommend Hot Toys. I think they're worth the money um, if if you only even have one to show off. Um, Batman Returns. Oof. It's the beginning of everything comic book for me, and I really wanted to express that by owning this and adding it to my collection. Um, I don't buy a lot of figures. I'd usually rather spend the money on books. But as for this, happy to have it. Um, I know Marty at Comic Book Fanatics have a, has a very impressive collection. Don't think I'll ever come close to that, but this will do for now. And let's let's show some Batman books. Got a couple of eBay purchases. Mm, Brave and Bold, 111. Uh, pretty cool Joker cover. Uh, Batman declares Joker as his partner on the cover of this one. And looks like the Joker got a hold of some pretty good acid. <laughs> uh, one more Brave. Brave and the Bold 150, nice looking anniversary cover. As much as, you know, the dark Batman appeals to me, I've always enjoyed the blue and gray Batman. I, I thought it'd be cool if they did a modern interpretation of this character, or of this suit at least. I, I just, I feel like I can imagine this sweet, like, blue rubber cowl and a, like a well-defined um, gray suit, maybe more technological probably a lighter plot you know the villains are more comedic I don't know if it's like a childish kind of movie but you know if they want to change it up a bit maybe in the next 25 or 50 years it'd be cool to see what they did with that you know to pay homage to Adam West uh, one more Batman book another Joker Joker cover Batman 186 uh, I actually got this at an auction a couple weeks ago Auctions around here have been pretty lame, but I can come away with something cool every once in a while. Uh, and then this series has been pretty cool. Uh, Deadpool Back in Black. I got one of the variants. I didn't catch too much of the Venom Various vi Virus. Venom Variant Virus. Oof. And, uh, but uh, this one was uh, pretty cool. I liked the cover swipe to Amazing Spider-Man 316. Uh, it's been a good read. Um, I do like the Tyler Kirkham art, but don't really want to spend 40 or $50 on it. I'm happy to have this one. Da -da -da. More Deadpool. As I've said before, I'm trying to complete the 97 run of Deadpool. Pretty close, so I picked up this set. It's the Funeral for a Freak arc, so it would be number 61. And this is the second issue of that. Three and four. So that set was an eBay purchase. It was like 23 bucks ships. Really happy with that. And then my local had a 50% off sale. And I dug this one out. Deadpool 67. Now these, like the last five issues, are a little bit more pricier. I, I try my best to get these issues under ten dollars that's just kind of like my goal for a price point um but these last five i mean even when they're on auction uh they tend to go higher than what i'm trying to steal them for so i'm kind of trying to come to terms with the fact i might have to pay a little bit more but uh they are really cool covers especially 65 so hopefully that'll be in my next video i know i need 65 66 68 and 69 i need baby's first deadpool book I need the Encyclopedia Deadpoolica. Um, I think I need a few others, and then I will consider that run complete. 
that was my goal for the end of the year, so hopefully I can get that done through December. Uh, and then more 50% off sale, I finally picked up this Space Ghost series. Uh, I always liked Joe Kelly's writing, and, you know, I'm a pretty big fan of Space Ghost. One, two, three, four, and fiver. Um, I, I read Future Quest right now. It's been pretty good. It's not entirely Space Ghost centered, but he, he finally came back in the most recent issue, so I'm excited to see where they take it. I was at the shop and I was saying how I'd love to see Space Ghost have his own comic, and this other guy was like, Space Ghost could never hold his own series. And I was like pouting about it for a minute, and <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's right, but I can't be the only Space Ghost fan. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's better as a television character, I don't know. I just don't see enough of them. Uh, what else I got? Ooh, Since we all love The Walking Dead, I hope. I don't know. Uh, I picked up this pretty cool piece. I know that uh, Don, the comic book junkie, showed one off. And it is really neat. Uh, it's an artist proof edition of Walking Dead 100. Uh, definitely love where the show is going right now. Love Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan. He's kill he kills it, man. Um, you know, I've always had Rick Grimes as my favorite, but Negan might be my new favorite, uh, character on The Walking Dead, and 100 is definitely one of the best issues, and perhaps one of the best episodes. They executed that very well. Uh, more Negan. I uh, picked up one of these. I thought all these variants were pretty neat. This was my favorite one. Uh, these were, like, Comic-Con... Um, exclusives. So this is the Negan Kills Manifest Destiny variant. I'm surprised I haven't seen these in more videos because of how hot Negan is. Um, I did see one in Erod 212's video a while ago, but uh, I think they're relatively cheap. Uh, recommend picking one up if you like Negan. Negan himself, you know, as horrific as what he has done may be, you know, we're living in a new world, guys, and you got to take power or follow, and Negan's just that kind of a guy. I think especially, you know, later on in the comics, you can see that he's actually a more reasonable guy. He's not really a psycho. Um, he, wants, he wants to protect people and give them, you know, a good life. Um, yeah, he does want a lot of wives, but, you know. <laughs> and when it comes to his evilness I guess is it really him or is it Lucille that's the real question because she's kind of a force to be reckoned with in her own right am I right <laughs> uh, what else I got Ooh, speaking of cool shows this I picked up to celebrate uh, the new show I found uh, Westworld uh, on HBO really really cool show definitely blows my mind it's so refreshing to find a new show especially on hbo um big fan of game of thrones and you know that's coming to an end in a couple of seasons so they they say this is the new game of thrones so if you haven't checked it out i highly recommend it this magazine it's crazy magazine number five and it's just about the old movie the show is based on um I like picking up vintage magazines every once in a while. You know, if I see a cover I like, um, I think I paid like eight bucks shipped for it. So if you're into that kind of thing, you could probably find it on the bay. Uh, more vintage mags. Love the artwork on these. This is uh, Weird from Erie Publications, volume one, number, no, volume three, number one. Uh, definitely a really, really cool cover. Love horror art. Uh, really love pre-code horror. I hope to add some more to my collection next year. You gotta cuff up some money for those sometimes. <laughs> um, and shout out to Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. He shows a lot of cool books like these. And then the next one is oof, probably my favorite, not just of magazines, but covers in general. Top 10, maybe top 5. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. But this one, so happy to have it. Uh, it's the meat grinder. Look at that. So tasty. This book, it's a weird volume three, number five. 
very hard to find, especially in a good grade. And I actually bought this on the CGC boards from a really, really awesome guy. Uh, his username was uh, Bounty underscore Coder. I picked up um, a Vampire Tales magazine from him last summer and showed it off. Every couple times a year, he'll do a sale on the board selling off, you know, horror magazines and other cool stuff. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, you know, if you're looking for something that's hard to find, you could definitely hit him up. You, know, you could tell him that I sent you because um, he loves uh, selling books like these to people and sharing his collection. All right, another CGC board purchase. Another rare book that I'm happy to have. Oh, yeah. Can finally be part of the Milk and Cheese First Print, print Club. Um, you know, and this was like, it came up when I was really trying to save money, you know, for some birthday purchases, and that always seems to happen to me. You know, you're saving money, and, you know, something comes up, and you're like, well, do I pull the trigger or not? And I had to pull the trigger on this guy because you don't see this book very often. I have literally never seen this book at a con. Um, I, I, you can rarely find them on eBay. I did see one on eBay. It was listed at like 98 bucks, and it had sold like right after I bought this one. But I bought this one for 65 shipped. So pretty cool book to have. It's been on my want list like ever since the beginning of me watching YouTube videos. Mm, over a year ago, maybe even closer to two years ago, man. Oof, time flies. But uh, in Hero Hunter's video, I remember seeing this and be like, that is a sweet book. Gotta check it out. And it is a really cool story. I mean, you could pick up, you know, the other printings for really cheap. And I think there's even a, a paperback to read the story. <sighs> Such a great cover. All right, and the grand finale. It's a scream, baby! Before I show this book, I want to ask everybody, what's your favorite scary movie? Whew. Oh yeah, what is that, huh? <laughs> Not a comic book, it's a magazine. But the real value on this book is that it has five signatures from the original Scream movie. We got, ooh, I'm going to zoom in on this guy. Matthew Lillard, Skeet Ulrich, um, David Arquette, Rose McGowan, Schwing, <laughs> and then the legendary Nev Campbell. Ooh. You know, I saw this on eBay. This guy does horror auctions uh, every Halloween. He sells really cool signed memorabilia. He had, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre signed by that cast. He had a Halloween book signed by Rob Zombie and the rest of the cast. Really impressive stuff and a great seller. I think the username was M T Pence P E N C E. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, you might be able to hit that up as well. But this book just called to me. Big big fan of Scream. Came out in the late '90s and it was probably one of my first like favorite movies. You know, one that I fell in love with. Uh, besides maybe Batman Returns. Um, you know, I, I love slasher flicks, and you know, as scary as it might be, it's really more of a satire. Great acting, and really happy to have this. Love looking at it. And, you know, I'm, I'm usually not big on autographs on covers. Sometimes it'll even ruin the book for me because I'm weird like that. Um, but with this one, it's not really about the book. It's about the autographs. You know, having five autographs in one book. It's already CGC Signature Series, and this is also my first SIG series, so... I really would like to meet them in person, especially Nev, but it's hard for me to keep up with horror cons, apparently. You know, as much as I try to keep up with regular cons, I know that back in August she was in Chicago, and I totally would have went, but I just I had no idea it was going on. I've been kicking myself ever since. You know, the magic for me in getting autographs is getting it myself, seeing them sign it, meeting the person, but, you know, for, like, what I paid for this, it's pretty much close to the value of what I would have to pay to go to every con, you know, and pay to get the autographs, and pay to get it SIG series. So I think I got a pretty awesome deal on it, and definitely one of my favorite pieces. Um, a great gift from me to me for my birthday. Uh, anybody else a big Scream fan? Let me know. Really, really awesome franchise, and rest in peace to Wes Craven, a horror genius. Oh, well, that's the end of my haul. 
Uh, before I go, I'd like to do a quick shout out to OMG. He put a video out a week or so ago about being bullied and it was upsetting to see, although I know that some channels have to deal with that. You know, when your channel grows, you're going to come across trolls. You know, you don't know why they do it. Are they bored? You know, are they just, are they mad at, their, at themselves? Who knows? Um, and I guess who cares? It's how you respond to it that shows how strong you are. You know, anybody that makes YouTube videos puts themselves in the public eye. You know, I salute that. That's bravery. Um, I guess depending on what your content is. But I love this community, and for the most part, I think we're all really nice and friendly guys who want to support each other. Um, it's such a great way to express, you know, our favorite hobby. Hearing feedback from others, seeing what other people pick up. I don't know how many times I've watched a video, saw something cool I never saw, and thought, man, I have to get that. And I love that kind of experience. So just wanted to sh show my support for him and, of course, for all the other channels out there. And thanks a lot for stopping by, and I'll probably see you guys next month. Peace.